Ever wondered why ants are not injured when you blow them off your cookies? It is because they are so small that they wouldn't even realize that something traumatic ever happened to them. Although, they do die when you crush them. But to understand why it is so, we may have to do the same tests on humans and some really big animals. Before that, make sure you have subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon for an instant update. Let's start with humans. Let's say, we take a 6 feet tall guy and increase him to twice his height. You will now have a 12 feet guy with a heart 8 times larger in volume and 4 times stronger than the heart that his 6 feet tall body used to have. This increases his overall mass. On Earth, this means greater weight. With greater weight comes greater terminal velocity. And when you push this 12 feet guy from a ledge, the terminal velocity will break his leg for sure. Now some really big animals like elephants, for example, they could easily break their leg simply by tripping over a wooden log. This is because of the fact that they have a larger mass. All those huge chunks of muscles in their limbs add up a lot to their overall mass, and obviously when dropped from a considerable height, the terminal velocity would definitely hurt the animal. Finally, the ant. It doesn't get hurt when it jumps down from your bookshelf or even from a cliff. When compared to elephants, they have a very tiny mass, and their ratio between their area and volume is too small. When the ant is falling downwards under the influence of gravity, the air resistance induces upward force, and it balances the weight. It simply means that the ant has a very low terminal velocity. This is because of the fact that the surface area of the ant is not that small when compared to its tiny volume, and gravity doesn't play a lot in its fall. All objects falling through the atmosphere have a terminal velocity that depends on their shape, size, and mass. An ant picks up speed as she falls through the air. The air, in turn, resists her movement with a force proportional to the square of her speed. Eventually she reaches a speed at which the upward drag forces exactly balance her downward weight, and she stops accelerating. That speed is her terminal velocity. The terminal velocity of a small to medium ant is about 6.4 km per hour, according to the physics department of the University of Illinois. An ant would fall faster, given a ball-like shape, but the ant's no dummy. She thrusts her legs out, presenting more surface to the air, to fall slower, like a flat sheet of paper instead of a balled-up sheet. Indeed, a man has a terminal velocity of about 200 km per hour, with arms and legs fully extended to catch the wind like a parachute, and about 320 km per hour when curled into a ball. An ant slows similarly. Terminal velocity is a phrase used to describe the maximum constant speed that a falling object can reach before it cannot accelerate any further. This happens when the air resistance pushing the object up becomes equal to the force of gravity pulling the object down. The terminal velocity of a human being is 120 miles per hour, as such, should you manage to reach this speed while falling and hit the ground you would most likely end up in a bad way. However, an ant is so light that should you choose to throw one off the top of a skyscraper and it reached its terminal velocity, it would only be traveling at 3.9 miles per hour. Due to its size and weight, the air resistance acting against the ant is so strong that gravity cannot physically pull it down to earth any faster. Due to the slow speed in the ant's strong exoskeleton which braces it for impact, they do not suffer any damage from falling at any height, and the impact would have been the same as if it had fallen a few centimeters. There are several other animals that have a terminal velocity, which won't cause any lasting damage, one example of this is mice. Mice are completely safe from any fall, at any height. There have been instances of mice falling thousands of feet down mine shafts, only to have them shrug and scurry off. This is because their terminal velocity is so low. Now that you know that blowing the ants off isn't going to help you avenge the cookie it devoured, try sharing it with them next time. When ants take over the world, they might spare you. Now let's talk about six unknown facts about ants. Number one. There are over 12,000 ant species worldwide. Ranging from the ant you might find scuttling across your picnic to the ants building underground fortresses in the rainforest, to flying ants. Number 2. The bullet ant is said to have the most painful sting in the world. Living in humid jungle conditions such as the Amazon, their sting has been compared to being hit by a bullet. Number 3. Ants are the longest living insects. Unlike some bugs who might only live for days or even hours, the queen ant of one particular species, the Pogonomer mexoihi, can live up to 30 years, so be careful not to stand on her. Number 4. The ant is one of the world's strongest creatures in relation to its size. A single ant can carry 50 times its own body weight, and they'll even work together to move bigger objects as a group. 
Number 5. Ants don't have ears, and some of them don't have eyes. Ants listen by feeling vibrations from the ground through their feet, and eyeless ants such as the driver ant species can communicate by using their antennae. Plus, they can send chemical signals called pheromones, released through their body to send messages to other ants. They send out warnings when danger is near, leave trails of pheromones leading to food sources, and even use them to attract a mate, a sort of ant love potion. Number 6. Ants can be found on every single continent except Antarctica. Ironic really, when you consider the name. So guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you tomorrow. Before that make sure you have, subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon for an instant update of our videos. Bye.